Hey, Riverwood Church. My name is Aslan McCarthy, and I am so excited to be partnered with you guys. Um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a glimpse into what life and ministry look like here. Um, I've been serving here on a team in Togo for the past four years, and our team really, our heartbeat is for leadership and disciple uh, multiplication. And so we, uh, that, that's really what we're all about is finding leaders, developing them so that they can develop more leaders. And we do that in a variety of different ways. Um, I've had the opportunity to play a couple of different roles within that. Um, one of them being working at one of our church plants and working in our children's ministry. Um, we see so many potential leaders within that children's ministry and also within uh, the people who volunteer to help us in that children's ministry. And so it's been cool to see the way that God has been using that. Uh, but more recently, and really what my heart is beating for right now, is, is to work within the deaf community. The deaf population in Togo is upwards of 80,000 people. Uh, it's a large amount of people and a vast majority of them have no ability to communicate at this time. And, and if they're not able to communicate even basic needs to their friends and their family, how then will they receive the gospel? And our heart is, as a team is broken for this group of people and we want to do something about that. And so I've had the opportunity for the past year to learn sign language from my really good friend uh, who is deaf and his name is Maose. And Maose and I have been working together, like I said, for the past year or so. He's been teaching me sign language. It started out with just simple vocabulary words. And as time has gone on, as my vocabulary has grown and my confidence in language has, has grown, our conversations have, have turned a little bit towards spiritual things. He himself is a deacon at his church and um, is an incredible leader within the deaf community, but he has some needs, he has some things that he doesn't quite understand, um, some gaps that need, need to be filled. And so it's been really cool to see our roles kind of change. And I've been teaching him some things about what does it look like to, uh, to, to be a disciple of Jesus and what does it look like to create other disciples of Jesus who then create other disciples of Jesus specifically within a deaf context. And so as I'm helping him with some theological things, he continues to help me with insight within the deaf community and also within sign language itself. And so I'm so excited for what God is doing. We've already started, Mouse and I have already started to partner together to see what can we do here in Togo to reach the deaf for Jesus. And I'm so excited to see what else God has planned. Um, and, and again, I'm so grateful and excited to be partnered with you guys. Can't wait to meet you in person one day, um, hopefully really soon. All right, talk to you later.